we learned that in order to conserve IP addresses, the industry introduced private IP addressing. We have also got to know that the private IP addresses are not routable in the internet. So there was a need of technology that helps in converting a public IP address into private IP address and vice versa. That's why network address translation was introduced. NAT helps in converting private IP addresses into public IP addresses and vice versa. Consider a computer with an IP address of 192.168.1.5 connected to the internet by a router bearing an IP address of 90.80.70.60. When the computer wants to communicate to a server in the internet, say facebook.com, the traffic initiated from the computer will hold the source IP address of 192.168.1.5. But when this traffic reaches the router, natting happens and the source IP address will be replaced with the public IP address that is 90.80.70.60. So when the Facebook receives the request, it sees the request is coming from 90.80.70.60 and not from 192.168.1.5. A device that does natting is called a proxy. One should understand that Network address translation is not a network device. It's a module in most networking devices, like a router in the above example. All right, this is good if there is one computer, but how does natting work if there are multiple computers in a network? Consider this example where 192.168.1.20 is accessing youtube.com, 192.168.1.5 is accessing facebook.com, and 192.168.1.30 is accessing Twitter. So how does this router NAT multiple IPs and deliver the appropriate content to each computers? For this, we need to understand the concept of network ports. We will be studying the ports and protocols in the near future, but let's establish some basics now. We know that computer run different applications. Some applications need network services and others don't. For example, applications like Calculator, VLC Media Player, MS Word, Excel, etc. might not require network services. On the other hand, applications like Skype, Chrome, Outlook, WhatsApp, etc. need network services. Any application that needs to use the network services will request for a port number from the operating system. This is called source port. It is like a token number issued to patients at a hospital. Unlike a token number, which is issued serially, port numbers are randomly generated by operating system. Port numbers range between 1 and 65,535. We should note that Every connection made by an application needs a separate port. For example, when Chrome browser initiates two connections, one for Twitter and another for Facebook, it would need two different source ports. In this case, let's assume Chrome will get the port number of 35,432 to connect to twitter.com and 25,439 to connect to facebook.com. Now let's see how all this fits into natting. Consider the previous network diagram. When the individual computers make connection, the router which is responsible for natting maintains something called as NAT table. The NAT table consists of private IP addresses, the source port, the NATed IP and the source port used by the router to initiate the traffic to the destination IP. When the traffic is returned, the router knows exactly to which computer to send the traffic to. You may notice the third computer 192.168.1.30 has initiated two connections, one for Twitter and another for YouTube. The traffic coming from the same computer will be individually identified by the source port. Let's now take a look at different types of NATing. First, we have static NAT, also called as one-to-one -one NAT. In this, one 
private IP address is mapped to one public IP address. It is mostly used to host public facing servers like web servers or email servers. Then we have dynamic NAT, also called as one to many NAT. In this, multiple private IP addresses are mapped to a pool of public IP addresses. The mapping takes place using some logic like round robin or least used one, etc. This type of NATing is rarely used and used by large corporations. Then we have the PAT, Port Address Translation, also called as NAT Overload. In this, multiple private IP addresses are mapped to a single public IP. This is the most commonly used type of NATing in homes and offices to provide internet connectivity to all the computers in the local network.